Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and save your custom Fujifilm recipes. We've shared a ton of recipes on the channel and I've realized I've never actually shown in a separate video how to save these custom recipes on your Fujifilm camera. So we're going to jump into the menu. We're going to use the Fujifilm X100V. Now, if you have any X-Series cameras, the menus are basically going to be similar. So you can, you, you can follow along this tutorial on your own camera, whether it's X-T3, X-T4, etc. All right, here we are, we've got my Fujifilm X100V. We're gonna jump in, we're gonna hit the menu okay button. This is where all our settings are going to be. Uh, this was where we will adjust that. But first, let's just go back, hit the display back button. And on the Q menu button on the side, all the Fujifilm cameras will have a Q button. Might be in a different location. You're gonna have a, a number of presets here. So we're gonna have base, a C1, C2, and it actually lets you uh, save up to seven different custom uh, slots or places to have custom setup done. And this is where I like to kind of start as a base because what we will do is we will save our Fujifilm simulation recipe as a custom setup so we can go and select that and go back and forth between different uh, different recipes. And you can see on the top here, I have a few actually saved. So we're gonna go into seven. We will select this. This is the one we are going to edit. We wanna hit the menu okay. And if you're following along the recipe, it's going to have the different settings that you have to adjust. And it's just a matter of going down. For the most part, your film simulation will, will change. You can select the one you want or the one that has in the recipe. You would select that. Then you're gonna go on, there's a grain effect. You're weak, strong. If you choose weak, you can, you can it'll depend on the recipe. Uh, color chrome effects, some of these will be weak. Some of them will be strong depending on the recipe. You can select that. Uh, color chrome effect blue. Some recipes will also have this, especially on the uh, X-T4 and the X-100V with the X-Trans 4 sensor. And you're just a matter of scrolling down and choosing the, 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 the right settings. These are all in the IQ menu. Uh, white balance will be maybe adjusted on the recipe. And then you would go through and change the red. This is all using the joystick menu button. And you would save if you hit OK. It sets it, dynamic range again, and the tone curve, it's a matter of using the joystick up or down to select how you wish to have the highlights and you scroll over to adjust the shadows and you would just hit okay. It was gonna take you back to the prior menu. Uh, the color settings, you can adjust up to one to four or down one to four depending on the recipe. Uh, sharpness is the same between a plus one or minus, minus, uh, minus four. And you would go back. Uh, noise reduction, some recipes will have a noise reduction. Again, it's just a matter of selecting the one with the joystick. And clarity, this is one always comes up a little bit with some of the recipes. If your recipe has clarity, as soon as you turn that on and adjust that, when you take your picture, when it's saving the JPEG, there will be, there will be a bit of a delay in processing the JPEG. So it will, sh it will definitely slow down your shooting a little bit and you won't be able to use, for example, the the continuous shutter speed uh, successfully with, with any kind of clarity setup. That's a question that a lot of people ask and go down. And that's basically the last one. Now, when you have your recipe ready to go, we want to save this and have it locked into the camera. So if we are able, you know, if we turn off the camera or make any kind of changes, we want to go back to this recipe. This is how we save it. So on the IQ menu, you want to go to menu number three and down to edit, save custom setting. You hit the joystick and we're gonna go down and we're gonna go down. We were editing our num custom slot seven. We would select it and we will select save current settings. These will save all the current settings we've just placed into the camera. And it's gonna ask you to confirm this. Hit okay. Now that is all saved. Now what we can go back now and do is select it again and you can edit the custom name. And what you can use is the, either use the joystick or the touch screen to go through and save what this uh, recipe is, is called. So it's a good way to set it. And then that way, when you go back into your camera and if you do any changes or any kind of uh, changes to the settings we can go back to the q menu hit the q menu button it's going to pop up and now we can scroll through and as we see here and see we can go through the one c2 so we go back to c7 which we just updated and you can see now it's named and it has all the settings that we've saved in the camera for that recipe now if you want to reset this and 
and uh, restart a recipe from the scratch, you would hit menu OK. You're gonna go back down to the IQ menu to the third page, edit, save, custom setting. You'll scroll down to the one you want to reset. We're gonna go to C7 and you would hit reset. And it's gonna ask you okay. And this, what this does is it resets all of the settings to the default. So you can actually go through. And what I like to do is leave the custom one setting as a default kind of base. So if I ever wanna go back and just take a regular picture with no adjustments or anything like that to the JPEGs, I will have it set on the standard, just this, the base base setting right from Fujifilm. That's how a JPEG comes out of the, I guess, out of the factory. And that is how you add a custom film simulation. We used this on the X100V, like I said, same X-T4, X-T3, very similar in the menu systems. Thanks for watching everybody. If you have any questions about this video or any other video on the channel, leave a comment down below. We have to try and answer them. And until the next video, if you aren't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. If you've made it this far, it's free to subscribe. It'd be great to have you follow along. I share a lot of uh, Fujifilm recipes, film simulations, and little tips and tutorials like this one on the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.